Hi, welcome to my channel about embedded systems, fish technique and robotics. If you're new to my channel or haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe via the thumbnail in the bottom right corner. This video is focused on my um, robotic arm with pneumatic hand. And last time I started with a different approach for the camera I use in the screencast, which is this one. Fish Technique camera, USB based, and it is now focused uh, on the hand attached to the robot. And that is a very different approach, the eye in hand, not really eye in hand, because this is the hand and it is not on the hand itself. It's more likely on the wrist, but different approach anyway. And I want to continue with that. Um, also, uh, in the recent videos I improved the working of the uh, wrist. It, turned, it works better now. Um, what I'm still curious about is these sensors uh, in combination with the data log file. So um, let's get uh, to that and to the camera. And the, for that I changed to screencast. Alright, screencast as I said. Um, eye in hand, kind of. Camera with uh, the Python code, terminal and the uh, diagnostics interface. Now, I told you that the camera, the second camera that I wanted to show, um, is not being accepted, which is quite unfortunate uh, to say, but I wanted to show it anyway, how it goes wrong. So let me uh, put the camera into action and show you why and how. With the I in hand camera actually really in my hand, I can point it to the camera that I wanted to add and this is what you see what happens. So it simply does not accept um, the feed of the camera. It detects this, um, this camera, it detects the camera in my hand, the I in hand camera. And it detects the camera that is on the computer, the laptop camera. But, and the laptop camera does work uh, perfectly. Just uh, this extra USB camera is not going to function, unfortunately. So I'll have to do it with one USB camera, the iron hand camera. And then it is very nice if you record something for three minutes and you find out it didn't record anything. So, now it records again. What I uh, did try to say, or did say anyway, is that I find out, found out uh, why the arm pitch didn't do anything. Uh, wiring problem. So I have to... Um, to pay attention to that as well. And then the focus is now also here on this switch, which is digital 11. Um, actually three, um, digital three on the extension with eight on the normal interface, eight plus three is 11. So it is digital 11. And because um, this switch is necessary to be detected in order to get the yaw movement uh, going. I have to um, notice if it is actually working. So the best thing to do is to put it in the data log and for that um, print is not enough because that's a screen only so I added this text. And then the point is, does it actually do anything? So, and after the first run, 
the arm should actually do something and there's quite a bit of noise outside because of some construction work. Um, but I hope it's not too dominant in the video. And uh, now you can see that it is being impressed. But is it impressed enough? That's the big question. So right now I'm going to say okay, I interrupt. And I say okay, um, I want to do the handball test and I will pull it up and find for 11. No, that's a number. So I'm going to digital 11 and I take the last three letters. It's not found. Oh, that's not promising. So if it is in here, which is right here, I need to find the other one as well, which is then was already right here. This is digital T211 and yeah, and this one is T2.1, but 11 is 11, which isn't there. So what I can do is um, the whole text then, T2.1, T digital 11, not found. Okay, so I can safely assume that it is not being detected, which is not nice. Uh, obviously so I have to do something in the setup here why is it not being detected and I think why because of the pieces that I put here like this particular one or more appropriately uh, the one below it to make the switch actually go uh, the other way so there's a pro and a con but which one to do Alright, so now I have, in an attempt to get it solved, um, pushed away um, the just added extras to get the switch moved, and then you get it moving. So it sort of worked, and this is being impressed properly now, as you can see. But you can also see the hesitation and the problem with getting the uh, switch around. Which is in one way a lot easier apparently than the other way. So now I have that in um, fixed. So let me see how this works out. And get back. This seems to be fluent. Alright. And okay, hold on. Okay, stop. And now look for another one of this. Still not found. And I'm am looking for this text. It's not there. It's not here and it's just simply nowhere. So that may indicate um, that I may have to do something else. Uh, for instance, what I've done in another project, um, adding an LED to signal that it is actually being reached, being detected. And if so, then I know it will be there. 
if the LED is not going to light up, it's not detected. So that's just an idea um, that yes, um, this thing, this switch is being uh, pressed. Uh, this thing, but it won't work. It's not being detected, and I want to be sure. And adding that LED to this switch is something for next time. So, for now, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up, very important. Also, um, click the bell to get notified for any video of mine. Um, this is obviously going to be continued. Um, you can also follow me via Instagram and Twitter. Um, you can also donate via PayPal or becoming a patron. And um, please see my website for more information and more projects. For now, stay safe, take care, have a great day, bye.